Hello guys and welcome. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Indonesia Revolt which is available to the Dutch and the Portuguese. Uh, now we're going to be going with the Dutch for this test or for this showcase because I really think they'll function better um, as as like a Dutch revolt uh, and we'll just I'll just show you why that is. Let me first Nova and Orion this. Nova and Orion and then we'll speed speed always wins excuse my typing so the deck we are going to be using is these this deck I built here which I just obviously named Indonesia now as you can see there's very few cards we have to send um, obviously you want both your bank cards you'll want your infantry HP that's a big one uh, you want advanced arsenal cavalry combat and probably all your food eco cards as well as I would go Royal Mint. <clears throat> now the hope with this is just that your banks will keep up your coin production and you can then focus all your bills just on food production. So that's why we don't have any extra coin production things here. We're also going to grab uh, Religious Freedom. We'll use that to get two extra banks if we want. Uh, have train time will be quite good extensive fortifications isn't necessary but if you want some tough forts uh, or extra tough forts at least you'll want that uh, you won't be wanting tulip speculation just the extra coin production there both and both factories which we don't necessarily need to send and uh, if you don't want to you don't even have to send this but at least get improved buildings so the reason this revolt works well with Dutch is like I said the banks because what we're gonna focus on is a massive amount of uh we're going to be focusing on getting a massive amount of units uh with bank support in a way with with we're gonna yeah it's gonna be a massive amount of units but like we will be able to keep up our eco because of the banks hopefully and let me drop an arsenal here we'll go ahead and grab this because even though we our units will be slower um we'll be able to speed them up from here and there's thir nine banks. This also works. This this revolt works pretty well with Dutch because of the XP you get from banks. So oftentimes you'll get a lot more cards from that anyway. So let's go into revolt. So the Indonesia revolt ships four setback cannons and allows you to construct them. Wuku junks can be hired from the dock. So this is sort of water focused if you want, but the main focus is going to be these units right here, which are the Yavanese spearmen. So as you can see here, we got these setback cannons. These are basically um, these are basically like the the Swedish leather cannons is essentially what they are. Very good versus infantry. They they move pretty fast for being a uh, cannon and so on things like that uh this is the deck we're looking at here this is pretty pretty small on the smaller end of uh revolutionary decks now but it does have some specific things here so as you can see i didn't have fencing school because if we want to use it we can get it here um we have an upgrade to our revolutionaries and to our pikemen including these guys right here um actually in the public update preview this gives your revolutionaries a unique skin which is quite cool but i'm not on the pup right now so that's whatever and this it la tankas is going to upgrade your artillery a little bit now this this has a couple other things that you can see we got native wars we went cheaper cheaper natives you have your advanced stock your improved warships all that your infinite shipments here and we have the akak Ake pepper Ake pepper exports. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this will make give you a nice food trickle, and your bills will only cost. Uh, it says 70 coin, but it's normal coin. You'll be able to build back up to your normal 60 bills. Uh, while that's all interesting stuff, the main thing that's going to be the focus here is the Sumatran elephants. Now, what this shipment does is every time you send it, the next card you send will get another elephant. So if we send this again, let me go ahead and Nova and Orion just to get some more XP. Nova and Orion. As you can see, the first time we sent it, it only sent one elephant, but this time it'll deliver two. And next time it'll deliver three. And this scales, I haven't found a cap. So uh, if you're doing like a free for all that's over an hour long, you can probably, just from some testing, you could probably get this up to 10 pretty easily. And this is, this is completely pop free. So while your army is only gonna be age four, 
the longer the game goes the better it is for you in all honesty because if you get this up to like 10 15 elephants that's a lot of elephants to be shipped in one shipment and if you ever need to ship something else like you need to ship revolutionaries you'll get those the elephants that have built up from there too so as you can see it delivers four well war elephants so i find this it's pretty unique um i'm gonna be honest here i thought it was better in my testing but when i actually tried it in a free for all it was not near as good i was playing as portuguese so i think that might have been partially why i had to ship more shipments um before revolting but uh it's it's basically i'm a from not without testing this in an actual game it's it's a little bit weaker than other revolts but if the game goes on long enough i it might very well be the greatest just because if you can survive if you can survive you'll be able to build this up as big as you want as far as i know there is no cap as i said so i mean you can literally just get the biggest mass of elephants if if the game goes long enough so that's a basic overview of this one there's obviously this this is a can cap so it'll be affected by this and its hp gets quite nice and we can up its siege a little bit but it is uniquely good against skirm it has that area attack uh it's especially if you grab this thing they're a little bit slow but they're faster than most skirm so they should be fine in doing what you need to do the pairing which you'll probably generally be going for is revolutionaries with these guys so these guys will kill uh cannon and skirm and this guy here will be killing your your uh your hand cav and range cav and those will pair together really nicely and you only need your food eco really to keep up this production and as long as you can keep this shipping you might have to go for some hussars in like the meantime between shipments of these um but that's that since they have the same upgrades and stuff it's not like a whole lot extra to go hussars so that's the overview of this revolt um i'm hoping to try it in a, another free-for-all i kind of i did it, the free-for-all i tried it in was also kind of screwed up because there's two different teams teaming so it just didn't work out uh but i'm hopeful that next time i try this it'll work better especially if it's if i try it as dutch trying it as portuguese way too many cards you have to send before revolting so you really can't make do you can't um you can't use this like you'd want to so that's it for this one, and I'll see y'all in the next one.